Ah, oh, so much better. It's only like an inch, but I'll take it. This is awesome, isn't it? <sighs> Pure comfort. Now I need a driver. Oh wait, the car drives itself now. This is my 2022 Tesla Model Y performance and inside this vehicle are a bunch of hidden features that you may know about and some you may not. All right, truth be told, these are all in the manual, but I'm gonna give you a bunch of hidden features and secrets that this car has that you may know about or you may not know about, and I'm gonna put them all in one video, so that way you are in the know and you're gonna be a pro-level expert by the end of this video. Let's go take a look. All right, walking up to the car, immediately you're gonna be looking at this circle and wondering what is inside this circle. Well, guess what? There's actually two hidden features within this circle. Let's open it up and take a look. First step to open it, push at the one o'clock position and this will just pop right out. And inside there are two hidden features that you should know about. First of all, this tow hook eye, which is located in your frunk. And you probably were wondering what in the world does this thing do? Well, it screws into here and then a tow truck can help tow your vehicle. So that is hidden feature number one inside this circle. Hidden feature number two is a way to pop open the frunk with some sort of jumping device like this. And I'll put this down in the description if you wanna buy one of, one of these uh, types of devices. But you put the red on the red and you put the black on the black and here are the two terminals. And that, if your car is completely dead, with uh, 12 volt power, or in some cases, 16 volt power, or whatever it may be, it will power the frunk and open this up, and then you can jumpstart the car. This will not jumpstart the car. Two features, one circle. All right, just to show you where the uh, tow hook goes, this is uh, where it is, and you probably were wondering what that was, so now you know. Hey, if you're enjoying our videos and tips and trips and tricks and all that kind of stuff, we'd totally appreciate it if you hit that like button on uh, your screen there, or subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Almost 10,000 subscribers so far. We are blown away by that. Are you one of them? Thank you so much. If not, become one of the next few. It would be so awesome. So like, subscribe, hit the bell. Now back to the video. And since I'm already in the frunk, I should show you, and you should already know this, but this is where you put your windshield washer fluid. Pretty easy thing. The only user serviceable item on a Tesla, so called anyways, uh, I use the blue stuff. Another important safety hidden feature, if your car loses power, or let's say the absolute worst happens and you go off a cliff and you're underwater, use this latch right here. This is the emergency latch that will open the car despite not having any power if this button doesn't work. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this latch all the time, but that is the emergency latch that most people don't seem to know about if the car loses power. How many news stories have we seen? I was trapped in my Tesla in 100 degree heat and I couldn't get out. Right here, folks, this is it. Just do that, the car will open despite not having any power. How about the back seat? In the back seat, it's not up here and it's not exactly easily accessible. You actually have to remove this rubber piece down in the floor of the door here and inside that square is where the emergency release is for the rear doors. I would suggest just climbing over the seats and doing it from the front, but there it is in case you wanted to know. I know you probably don't look up too often, but this is where the hazard lights are. It's mandated by federal US law that it actually has a, a real button. And there you can see it flashing on the screen in case you needed to know where the hazard buttons are. Now, if the door is closed, another feature that you may not know about is these LED lights turn on and off. You can see that one turning off, there you go. I believe these are microphones or speakers for your phone, but uh, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's where those are. Also, another thing that's hidden is this camera. There's a camera watching you at all times. Elon is right there inside this camera. He's there, believe it or not. He's got a big command center and he wants to keep an eye on the millions of Teslas out there. Did you know the driver's seat on modern Teslas have lumbar control right here? Just go back and forth on this circle. Older model Teslas actually have it on both front seats, but uh, for some reason, Elon deemed it unnecessary 
for the passenger. So uh, use that if you've got back problems and some lumbar support definitely, definitely helps. I'm sure you know how to do the windshield wipers via the screen, which is cumbersome, annoying. The automatic wipers for some people work and for some people don't work. But did you know there's a manual way to do it? And it's a button right here. And your windshield wipers go. Pretty cool. You can also press and hold and you'll get the fluid. But I don't want to do that because I just washed the car. But trust me on that. Also bonus tip, if you push this button and the windshield wipers go off, you also get a thing on the screen that you can adjust the speed. Watch. So right there, you can adjust it on the screen. Super mega bonus tip, if you push this button, you can actually control the speed going back and forth on this toggle. Watch that. See, it's moving and I'm toggling right here. Back and forth. Pretty slick. USB locations. Many people want to know where those are. In modern Teslas, Model Ys and Model 3s, they are located, well, this is a hub, but they are located right here. You can see where the hub is plugged in. There are two USB-C locations right here on the inside of this wall. And I highly recommend getting one of these hubs from Joa. I'll put the link down in the description. I'm really not here to sell product, but I love this feature because it closes and check this out, it looks OEM. It looks like it was built in, it looks awesome. And adds a couple of USB-A ports, a USB-C port on top, as well as lighting for this down below, which is pretty cool. So those were the two USB-C ports. They are for charging only, no data. Let me show you where the data port is. The data port, the one and only data port on modern Teslas is actually inside the glove box. It comes with this USB-A uh, stick. 128 gigabytes as it says right there. I actually opted to do an SD card, a micro SD card made for video. And I used a little hub here from Joa. You can use, uh, in my Model 3, I actually used an SSD flash drive actually. Um, so I highly recommend replacing this at some point. These do fail and you know it's gonna fail when you most need it. So uh, go ahead and get uh, uh, one of these guys or an SSD. But this is the only data port in the car. And uh, this is also where you would plug in for uh, a gaming console. If you bought a used Tesla, an older model Tesla perhaps, and you've been told, hey, the, uh, the Sentry Mode disc is in the glove compartment, as you can see on this model, this is a 2019, they are not in the glove compartment. And they don't uh, come with a, a USB uh, drive. You'll have to purchase that yourself. So not in the glove compartment on an older model Tesla. You'll have to check if you're buying a used Tesla and are looking for the USB ports uh, with this style center console, you know, the uh, piano black style. They are on the back wall towards the front, two USB A's. And what I actually do is I have a, uh, a little port here from uh, Joa that expands the ports and even gives me a USB-C there on the end. I can put the link down in the description. So that's what you're looking for in terms of USB-A uh, ports on a uh, older model Tesla. Under the armrest is a 12 volt power and it's right here. You can see this little door here and there it is. I actually have my mag back uh, plugged into that for power, which actually runs along the center console, kind of well hidden uh, up and over that and that's what charges my phone right there with the mag back. All right, so I'm sitting in the back seat. Obviously, you should know where these are. Your kids know where these are, that's for sure. If you've got kids, two USB-C uh, ports right there for charging. Again, no data. You've also got the uh, AC and heat venting that you can adjust here. There are pockets here on the car, if you uh, didn't know that. Plenty of storage underneath. However, the storage underneath, I would recommend doing a uh, blocking uh, mesh kind of thing because something falls and goes under there, it's kind of gone forever. AirPods. AirPods are a really big deal falling in there. Ah! For those that do dry cleaning or wear suits for a living, guess what? Yes, there are hooks. They are there on either side of the car as well as this LED light, which you can turn on and off. A couple of uh, bonus hidden tips or tricks right there in one shot hook on either side of the car. This is more of a front seat, but I just noticed it while sitting in the back seat and so many people don't know about this one. I bet you're gonna be surprised. You can actually adjust the height of your seat belt. Check it out, both sides. Both front seats, you can adjust the height. 
Yeah, <laughs> it took me a year or so to find that one. Most owners don't spend a lot of time in the back seat, but yeah, there are cup holders. You just gotta pop this down and an armrest all in one. Again, many people don't spend a lot of time in their back seat. This is a Tesla Model Y, and guess what? The seats recline! Yeah, check this out. Ah, oh, so much better. It's only like an inch, but I'll take it. This is awesome, isn't it? <sighs> Pure comfort. Now I need a driver. Oh wait, the car drives itself now. So if you have a newer Tesla, you already know this. I mean, it's common on pretty much all cars. You've got a button here that will open and close the frunk. Well, maybe not open, that's on the outside, but it'll close the frunk. But did you know this button can also adjust the height? So if you wanna open this up in your garage and not slam the top or the spoiler on the garage itself, check this out. So simply adjust the height that you want manually, just using your hand, right? So let's say I want it at that height. Now push and hold this button until you hear the beep. I heard a beep. So guess what? Now we're gonna close this and it will open to that height. Here we go. Pretty cool, huh? So inside left of the trunk is this gem. Did you know you have power here? A 12 volt port, otherwise known as a cigarette lighter, probably good for camping or tailgating or whatever you want, but there is power back here and you might not have seen it because it's kind of facing the wrong direction. Also in this same cubby is the manual release for the charge port. If you get the adapter stuck, if you get one of the uh, the charging cables stuck and it just will not come out, you can manually tug on this and it will pull out what you need. You probably already know this, but on a Model Y, you can fold the seats down from back here. Boom. Boom. Now getting them up is a whole other issue and it's a little harder and it's not automatic. One of my favorite hidden features that you don't even have to do anything except open the trunk is this light. And what I mean by that is on the Model 3 that we have, we have a dark trunk. This one little light lights up this entire trunk at night and it's fantastic and you don't even have to do anything special to use it. Just thought I'd mention it. I'm at the Tesla Superchargers and there are three ways to open the charge port, at least that I know of. One on the screen, two via the app, and actually there's four. One pushing the button on the nozzle and the way I'm about to show you. Just tap, there you go. So there you go, just some of the hidden features that I have found along the way in my five years of Tesla ownership. Are there some that I missed? Are there some that you know about that I have forgotten? Just wanted to get a bunch of these tips under one video and hopefully you found something of value here. You found something that you can go brag to your friends about and that you know about your Tesla before you started watching this. Don't forget to like this video. It truly means a lot to the channel. Subscribe to the channel as well. That totally uh, means a lot as well. But if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. We are nearing the 10,000 subscriber mark, if not already over by the time this video drops. So thank you, each and every one of you who have uh, subscribed to our channel. It totally means a lot, as the t-shirt as the indicates here. I don't even know if that was on camera today, so I thought I'd give it a little, uh, a little plug there. So there you go. The hidden features that I have found along the way on our Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 along the way. Uh, obviously, some of these are gonna be different for the uh, new Highland Model 3s, uh, one of which I know up in the top there where the hazard lights are, there's actually a gear selector. So that's just one of the differences. I'm gonna have to go check out a Highland. I know they're doing uh, test drives now, so uh, I'll, I'll be doing that soon probably. Thank you once again for watching Tesla Tips and Trips. I hope you found these hidden gems entertaining at the very least. We'll catch you on the next video.